How's it going everyone, it's Harvey from Weather Sponge 5000 and taking a look at the latest run of the European model, it's certainly more concerning for the Caribbean because if we were to continue to move forward with the forecast, the European model wants to bring a major hurricane landfall right over the Leeward Islands as well as Puerto Rico in the more long term future between the Friday October 20th and Friday uh, and Saturday October 21st time frame where you clearly see the millibar pressure drops down to 959 9 millibars and down to 947 which is equivalent to right around a category 3 to category 4 hurricane as this is, would be definitely very very devastating for the island of Puerto Rico if this were to come for fruition however there's still a lot of time to iron out the forecast and we're gonna go in detail regarding the possibility this will make landfall as a major hurricane a regular hurricane or a tropical storm or not make landfall at all right over the Caribbean so here so um, if we were to continue to move forward we see that this makes landfall right over Puerto Rico at 952 um, with a millibar pressure of 952 millibars and if we were to take a look at the relative humidity unfortunately um, with tropical storm Sean right ahead of it, it should act as a buffer to limit the amount of dry air that's just to the west of this storm system because as you can see going to where we are at the present moment here's tropical storm Sean it has a decent amount of moisture surrounding it it is expected to dissipate thanks to the amount of dry air that's just so west of it however we see that although there is a little bit of dry air just the west of potential um, tropical storm Tammy we do see it's a lot less Less than what um, tropical storm Sean was dealing with, mainly due to the fact that the remnants of tropical storm Sean will linger around the main development region, act as a buffer, which means that this won't deal with that much dry air as it continues to head further westward. So it seems more likely that we're at the very least we're going to see a tropical storm. Right now, the National Hurricane Center is giving a 50% chance of formation, but I expect that chance to rise because even the GFS model agrees that we're going to see a tropical storm out of this. And um, we take a look at the gfs model the good news is that at least with the gfs model the gfs model is still leaning towards a forecast where it wants to take this out to sea hopefully that ends up being the correct um scenario but the european model is also a very reliable model in fact i'll say the european model been a little bit more reliable this um hurricane season than the gfs model has which makes me concerned that we could see this move westward and bring major impacts to the caribbean another reliable model this hurricane season is the canadian model and the canadian model isn't much different from what the um from what the european model is stating where it does bring almost or nearly a major hurricane right in between puerto rico and the dominican republic um so we're so over the Caribbean islands you definitely need to be aware of this over the next few days um it's still way too early to panic um just yet um we're definitely gonna need to, the biggest thing we're gonna need to determine is, is how much ridging there will be just north of it we see that with the cmc and the european model they both expect a strong em enough amount of ridging just to the north of this storm to steer this further westward right over the caribbean islands and doesn't expect this trough to be strong enough to shear this ridge and create enough of an open area to where this can move north where the gfs model shows a different scenario where the gfs model in the same time period expects this trough to be a lot stronger to break this ridge apart and allow this to move far northward and shift the wind direction from a uh, easterly direction to more of a southwesterly direction to move this away from the Caribbean. So the strength of this trough at um once it moves just off the northeast coast by right around the October 19th time frame with Thursday, that will be key in determining if this will impact the Caribbean or not. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I'll say we won't get a definitive answer until early next week, right around Monday, October 16th. Once this low pressure system is located right over the eastern half of the United States, that's when I'll say we'll get a more definitive forecast on whether this will impact the Caribbean or not. But for the time being, you need to at least be aware of this right over the islands because again this could be concerning if this were to make landfall as a major hurricane over puerto rico you should of course expect winds over 100 miles per hour heavy rainfall in excess of five day inches and potentially more in the more localized areas especially in the higher elevations and of course 
um, extreme storm surge should be expected along a lot of the Caribbean islands, such as the Leeward Islands, and who knows, maybe if this ridge is strong enough, we could see this move a little bit southward to impact the Windward Islands, or move a little bit further westward to impact more the Dominican Republic, Haiti, and maybe even as far west as Jamaica and Cuba. Who knows how far west this could go? Remember, this is still... Um, very much in the long term future this wouldn't Im let's say if the European model um, models forecast was correct this wouldn't impact um, let's say Puerto Rico until the 228 hour mark right around that range and that, by that point it'll be Sunday October 22nd so there's still a lot of time to get the forecast more accurate and I'll keep you guys updated once we see changes with the forecast however in terms of its strength I'll say it seems likely at this point we're at the very least going to see a tropical storm and it's becoming increasingly likely we're going to see a, at least a, at the very least a hurricane whether this moves towards the Caribbean or not because like I said um, earlier the um, the remnants of tropical storm Sean should act as a buffer to limit the amount of dry air just so west of it so really the stability won't be an issue there's going to be enough instability for enough lift to occur and enough convective activity for the wind speed to increase along surface to potential to reach tropical storm status and potentially hurricane status and if the european models scenario ends up being correct i'll i'll, I'll definitely um i definitely won't say this will reach major hurricane status um just yet the european model is forecasting it but still a little bit too uh, it's too big of a leap to say at this point when it's this far out however i will say that a tropical storm is likely a hurricane is becoming increasingly likely um whether this impacts the caribbean or not a major hurricane we're gonna need to wait and see if the conditions remain um as favorable once this moves heads further westward because that still has yet to be seen we could maybe see more dry air than anticipated by this point we do see a decent amount of dry air just so west of this storm by the saturday october 21st time frame once this moves over the leeward islands so that still has yet to be seen but i will say um at least be, um prepare for or, or at least um be prepared for tropical storm development or and potentially hurricane development and when it comes to the wind shear there will be a decent amount of wind shear as well but it won't be enough to really limit it from intensifying because there will be an upper level high that'll help steer the stronger upper low winds away from the center circulation and in fact help the storm's outflow for it to strengthen a little bit more we do see there will be an upper level low just to the west of this storm system bringing a moderately um, a moderate amount of wind shear just to the north of it but it should help the outflow and it won't be enough to really um weaken this storm as it continues ahead further westward so i will say uh hurricane is becoming increasingly likely at this point the big question remains how strong will the ridging um be at, um as this approaches the caribbean because if the ridging is a little bit stronger where we would see a um, hurricane impacts likely over the leeward islands as well as puerto rico and potentially even islands further westward um depending on how strong the ridging is but if we see this trough end up being a little bit stronger and steers it out to sea then it wouldn't impact anybody which would certainly be the best case scenario um definitely stay tuned for more updates guys because it's far from certain um and this would definitely be very concerning for the caribbean islands um if the european models as well as a um, canadian models forecast is correct here Here's a quick look at the seven day graphical tropical weather outlook provided for the National Hurricane Center. We do see the National Hurricane Center is giving this a moderate chance of developing into a tropical storm, but expect this chance to rise. The computer models have all agreed that this will develop into a tropical storm, and even most of them, the most reliable ones, agreed that this will develop into a hurricane. So expect this chance to rise into a high chance with um, potentially as early as tomorrow or maybe um, a little bit after that. At the very least, I do expect this. Um, the chance to rise and we will likely see a tropical storm and a and more likely a hurricane right over the main development region in the more long-term future here's a quick look at invest 94l or what will likely become tropical storm tammy we do see it's struggling for the most part the thunder showers are very scattered so of course it's going to be very difficult for a lot of convergence to occur along the surface for the wind speed to rise and the convective activity to um, increase for this to become a tropical storm but that's expected to change 
um, in the more long term future we do see an extra blob of convective activity just to the east of this storm system that will eventually catch up to low level center that's located right around this area and eventually we should see more convective activity for this to develop into a tropical storm despite its current form where it's struggling right now so if the European model scenario was correct, where it wants to bring a major hurricane right over the Lesser Antilles as well as Puerto Rico, you, we do see that there is a pretty uh, pretty narrow area where you would experience 5 to 8 inches of rain. This includes the islands of Barbuda and, Antui uh, and Antuiga, as well as the western or the eastern portion of Puerto Rico. This includes the U.S. Virgin Islands as well, as well as the British Virgin Islands. So heavy rain throughout, this would likely lead to flash flooding if this scenario were to come true. However, we could see the rain either move a little bit westward to where it could impact the Dominican Republic and Haiti or maybe just move out to sea and not impact you guys at all that so has yet to be seen so make sure to stay tuned for more updates and here are what the Unsolved members are stating for the two most reliable computer models, the GFS and the European model. And in both sides, it looks concerning because even the GFS Unsolved members, where the GFS, at least the main GFS model, um, um, thinks that it's going to move out to sea. We still have some Unsolved members acknowledging the fact that this could potentially move a little bit further westward and bring impacts to the Leeward Islands, Windward Islands, Puerto Rico, as well as the Dominican Republic. So... The possibility certainly does exist where a hurricane would impact the Caribbean islands and with the European model, a majority of them want to take a hurricane right over the Windward and Leeward Islands as well as Puerto Rico and we do have a decent amount of them wanting to take this as far west as the Dominican Republic as well. So. This is this is would definitely be a very concerning scenario, but the ensemble members are certainly subject to change. So just make sure to keep watching. Um, it's still just a little bit too far out to make a certain forecast. Um, I know I'm sounding like a broken record. I'm saying this over and over, but it's just true. Um, it, we're over like eight days out with, um, from this storm potentially impacting uh, impacting the Caribbean if it were to take that route. So. Um, again, so computer models aren't that advanced to uh, at, um, to reach that level of certainty to say this is going to impact you guys. So just make sure to keep watching um, and um, yeah, we're going to see um, potentially major changes with the computer models over the next several days. But that's it for now, guys. I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather related content and make sure to like if you do enjoy this video. And I hope you guys all have a great day.